So now we're going to assemble the machine. So in the morning after clean up, you're going to assemble. To assemble, we're going to use the grease. So this is the food grid grease. We're going to use this for lubricant and also for seal. So we're going to use them for all the O-rings. Now, firstly, we're going to assemble the pump. So for the gear, we only need some grease, top, bottom, and in the center. So that's all the contact area. We, we have two gears. One gets a smaller hole, and one gets a bigger hole. The small hole will go to the left shaft, and the bigger hole one will go to the right side. A little bit of grease on the surface and in the middle, inside of the hole. So we can put into the pump. Next, we're going to use the O-ring. The O-ring, we put some grease first, just a little bit of grease, to the O-ring all around. And then we put the O-ring to the groove on the pump body. A little bit more, just a, a thin layer around. Now we can put the plate on, the front plate. We have two knobs on each side. The knobs only need to be finger tight. Because they're the O-ring, you don't need to be very tight to prevent leaking. It won't leak. If it's tight enough, finger tight, it should be all right. So next, we're going to put the overflow valve. Firstly, we're going to get this plastic valve in, in that order. So the plastic valve, then the spring, and then we have the plug. We need O-ring, put some grease on the O-ring and put the o-ring over the plug and put a little bit of grease over the o-ring again a thin layer is okay so on the plug we have the cut so make sure the cart facing the catch over there over here so press in and turn yeah until it's locked into place click there's the click. Mm -hmm. And the next we're going to put this drawing plastic tube. So put some grease over this tube. And all around here. And then we can just slide the plastic tube in. So next we're going to put all rings into the pump. There are two green O-rings. They will go to the back of the pump to seal the drive shaft of the pump. You can use your finger to get them in. The first one and the second one. So make sure they are in their grooves, the two grooves. So after we fit them in, we can put a little bit more grease to the inside between the two O-rings. 
we put some grease in. Okay, turn the pump over. We need another black small O-ring into the groove over the outlet of the pump. You see the groove over there. So we use the grease. Make sure we have one thin layer of grease over the O-ring. And then we put the O-ring into the groove. One side in, and the squeeze the other side. So make sure it's in there. So after we fit it in, put a little bit of grease. Okay, that's the pump. So next, we can install the pump to the pump drive. So we have this pump. Make it a vertical. Turn a little bit. If it can't fit in, you may have to take it out and spin the drive using the wash position. Okay, okay. So you see, so you change the position and try to install the pump again. Okay, so this time it's a catch. So make sure when you install, there's a small catch at the back. So the hook will hook to the rod coming from the drive shaft. There is an out body of the drive shaft. There's a rod over there. There's the hook from the pump. So make sure the hook, just the hook to the rod and the pump in this position. And then the drawer tube, we pull down the drawer tube to make it to touch the bottom of the hopper. So next, we're going to assemble pressure tube. We're going to need three O-rings at the bottom. So again, we put a little bit of grease on the small O-rings, black O-rings. All the black small O-rings, they're the same size. We put the first one to the bottom. And then we put the second one into the middle position. So always in this order, when you install O-ring, put the first at the bottom position and the second in the middle and the third at the inmost position. When we remove them, we remove inmost O-ring first, then the middle one, then the outer one. The duck bill, well, we put some grease around, so it's going to seal very well. So we're going to put into the groove at the bottom. Okay. And we we'll also put a little bit of grease over the three O-rings. And make sure it's sealed very well, and it's easy to plug this tube in and remove it later on when you need to clean. The so next, we're going to do the connector the pressure pipe connector. We need another small O-ring, the same size, a little bit of grease. And then we put this greased O-ring into the groove on the connector. Okay, so you can use a finger to put it in. Up that, put some, a little bit of grease over there. And it's optional, you could put a little grease over the end of this pipe. Yeah, that would be okay. So we just put the connector to the bottom as far as it goes. And then we can put this pressure pipe into the hopper. We're going to sanitize later on. But if after sanitizing, we're going to put the duckbill end into that hole, and we're going to, yeah, just like this, put it in. Yeah. And this side, put it into the pump and just push the connector. So we only put it in after we sanitize. So this is just a show. After we sanitize, we can 
add it in like this. Now we can pull this out. Okay. So we are ready to sanitize at the bottom. But still, we need to assemble other things. Next, we're going to assemble the beater and the beater idler and the box seal. So firstly, we're going to use the box seal. So the box seal, we're going to have some grease. The grease, particularly on both sides, and the sides are where in contact, where we can seal the mix. So both sides, we get a generous layer of uh, grease. And we also put some uh, grease over the shaft. So put some grease on that stopper all around and that the seal surface and also on the shaft a little bit. You do not put any grease on this end. So up to the middle, it is okay, put some grease. And then we slide the box seal in. And then next, we're going to install the idler to the beater. So the idler, so we have an opening on this size. So we're going to put the idler in you could put some grease over there and make sure the thinner part in and then going that way and that's into the hole of the beater shaft. Now it is assembled. We can put it into the freezing cylinder. Using your both hand, if there's anything wrong, you can take it out and check if everything okay. So make sure the idler still spin freely and make sure you can look inside. I think you can you can check if everything okay over there. So the idler still in that hole and it can spin very well. And also you can say when you put it in, it will not go in. If it's not going in, you turn a little bit until it get in. You turn while you push to make sure it will get in like this. You can see. You turn, get in, and this will be idling freely. So make sure you assembled correctly. So make sure here is a flush and this free to turn and inside you can check it is in the hole. It is in the hole of the shaft. So make sure this is all right. Otherwise you may damage the machine. So it is a little bit in this side. So now we can assemble the front door. So we have a big o-ring and we grease the o-ring first, a thin layer on the o-ring. When you put uh, grease on, try not to stretch the o-ring. Put the o-ring on the front door and we put a thin layer of uh, grease after we put o-ring over there. all around okay so next we're going to assemble the piston the piston need two o-rings we can put a little bit of grease to the o-ring first The thin layer is fine. Put first the o-ring to the bottom of the piston and the second o-ring to 
to the middle groove. So when you install all the way to the first to the bottom, and then second to the middle position, and when you remove, always remove the middle one and then the bottom one. So after that, we're going to put some grease on the O-ring and between two O-rings, some grease. This is make sure when you draw, when you make ice cream, it's not too hard to pull the handle. If you found it's very hard to pull the handle when you're making ice cream, that's because you didn't put enough lubricant to the piston. Just put a layer of uh, lubricant between the two O-ring. So now you can insert the piston into the front door. Make sure that's opening facing front. And your drawer handle will get into that hole. Okay, next we're going to install the drawer handle. So drawer handle that round side you're going to put in and then we have the pin. The pin will fix the handle into position. So put the handle in and the pin can be inserted from either side of the front door. So after assembled, we can install to the cylinder. Last, we have two knobs. Try to tight two knobs equally. So nearly at the same tightness for both knobs. We only need to be finger tight. You don't need any other tools to tighten this. If you put the O-ring, if your O-ring is good enough, if you have put enough lubricant, it won't leak. So just the finger tight is okay. So that's how to assemble the machine. Thank you.